This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 53. A Simple Guide to Making Changes That Stick by Ann Melnick with goodlifezen.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hello and welcome back to a Wednesday edition of Optimal Health Daily. I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil Malik, where I read to you from popular health and fitness blogs to help you optimize your health. Today, I'll be reading a post from a guest author on Good Life Zen, but before we get into it, you might have noticed that there are no ads in this show, which means we don't make any money from it. So at the end of the episode, I'll briefly mention how you can show your support, financial or otherwise. That way, we can keep this show going ad-free. Today's quote complements today's topic really, really nicely, as you'll soon see. It comes from Helen Keller. We can do anything we want as long as we stick to it long enough. And now, let's hear today's post and start optimizing your life. A Simple Guide to Making Changes That Stick by Ann Melnick with goodlifezen.com Have you ever been inspired to make a change in your life? Maybe you decided to learn to speak Italian, to lose a few pounds, to conquer clutter, to be on time consistently, to call your mother more often, or to take better care of your finances? Were you successful? Or did you begin with great intentions only to discover that within days or weeks, life had gotten in the way or your interests had waned? How do you make changes that stick? How do you become one of those people that decides to make a change and then actually makes it? How do you elevate your effort to change from a half-hearted New Year's resolution to a truly transformative initiative? Well, it's simple when you know how. Notice I didn't say it was easy. I said it was simple. We have been seduced by easy. We are sold the merits of easy every day. And let's face it, life is pretty easy these days. It's easy to communicate. It's easy to learn. It's easy to put food on the table. And before you dispute that, how many of us have to grow our own crops or hunt down and kill a wildebeest for dinner like our ancestors? We have become accustomed to instant results and instant gratification in so many areas of life that too often we are seduced by the belief that change can be instant and effortless as well. Our ability and willingness to dedicate ourselves to a vision, discipline ourselves to take consistent action, and to delay gratification is rusty. But some things are still hard. Changing habits is not easy, so don't let someone sell you on the idea that it is. If you expect easy, it will be easy to quit when hard shows up. On the other hand, if you prepare for a difficult campaign, you will be surprised by how easy it will seem in the face of your preparations. Even though we've all experienced the struggle of making changes, we continue to harbor hope that dramatic change can be as easy and magical as winning a lottery. Ironically, when we give up on hoping for effortless change and results in our lives and accept that it may require some work and dedication, that's when the magic can happen. So getting back to simple, If you want to create profound change in your life, here are a few simple steps to create transformation that is simply magical. First, create a compelling vision. Develop real clarity about the change you want to create in your life. Focus on envisioning your true desires, not something motivated by a should, must, or ought to. Second, make a powerful decision. Be very clear about your reasons for desiring change. What does it cost you not to change? Identify and focus on your deep emotional connection to the change you want to make. When you are clear about what you want to change or achieve, write it out to help make it real. Rehearse your decision and keep it in your awareness by posting it where you can see and read it out loud every day. Third, make a plan. Make a list of actions you need to take to make your change a reality. Develop habits and practices that support your vision to put action on autopilot. Start taking action towards your dream right now. Don't wait for the perfect plan. Fourth, commit to taking action. Take consistent action on your dream every day. Create focus and momentum by doing one thing at a time. Don't let fear stop you. Whether you baby step your way to success or take giant leaps, it doesn't really matter as long as you are in action and keep going in the right direction. Fifth, replace intention with attention. Making changes requires more than good intentions. 
it's been said the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Paying attention is the key to successful change. What you pay attention to grows. What you ignore withers. Stay present to your dreams and pay attention. Sixth, create a success team. Don't do it alone. Create a support team. Have a buddy to lean on when you need unconditional love and support. A cheerleader to energize your efforts. Someone to keep you accountable and on track and a resource person to turn to when you need help. Design your environment to support successful change. Create systems to support your progress. And lastly, celebrate a lot. Too often, we only celebrate when we complete a project or accomplish a goal. Life is about the journey, not the destination. It's very important to take notice of and celebrate each step of your progress. Make change a joyful endeavor, not a chore. You just listened to the post titled A Simple Guide to Making Changes That Stick by Ann Melnick with goodlifezen.com. I love these tips that Ann mentioned. They are right on the money. The one thing I would recommend is start with one or two of these tactics. Don't feel like you need to start on all of these all at once. It can be really overwhelming. But even if you just try one or two of these, you're on your way. Now, like I mentioned at the top of the show, I don't read any ads to you and this show actually loses money every month. So if you wanna help keep it going, there are a bunch of different ways you can show your support, financial or otherwise. You can visit oldpodcast.com and find the How to Help page, or you can go directly to oldpodcast.com slash support. Anything listed there is a huge help to us. If you can believe it, we just finished 53 episodes. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in 24 hours where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.